Hey guys, it's me Leo back again with another video. I've been away for a while, but I'm back. I think it's time for me to do another video exactly the same as the other one I did last year. Just telling you guys a little bit about my experience through third year. So I did the exact same video last year for second year and it popped off. It was my, I think it's like my most viewed video. So why not just try and get more views and do another video? You get my logic guys. All the information I'm going to give is just honest, honest information, not, not scripted. So hopefully you guys enjoy. So in this video, I'm just sort of going to go over what third year was like, because it's kind of a mystery. It's a year in most medical schools where the year just kind of changes and it goes from lecture or this boring lecture stuff to like clinical stuff, you're in the hospital, all that goodness. So I'm going to give you some inside information about what it's actually like in Manchester Uni. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe because uh, bro, my camera. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. Basically, I have just been given my new timetable and I've got an on call uh, all day on Tuesday in the next couple of days. I'm, I'm going to try and vlog that because that's going to be quite interesting. Obviously, I can't vlog in the hospital, but yeah, I'm going to try and make that into a video. So that should be pretty interesting. It's coming up soon. So don't forget to subscribe. Try and get ourselves to 200 subs by the end of the month. If that's possible. Starting fourth year. Um, I'm in the same house as I was last year. Apparently it's the toughest year. Fourth year apparently is quite a tough year, but I'll, I'll keep you guys informed. But anyways, we're going to get on with this video, which is about third year. So for those of you guys who don't know, but uh, third year, most medical schools is the first clinical year. So you go from lectures, uh, a few anatomy sessions here and there, PBL, uh, some Manchester Uni, um, to pew, in the deep end, you're in the hospital to learn how to take blood, to do cannulas, and stuff so i'm just going to kind of give you a rundown of the year for me uh, obviously the year kind of differs from medical school to medical school but this is from manchester starting off with the beginning of the year the whole year is different so for i don't know if this is for everyone but i actually had to move location for third year going from the middle of manchester to this city slash town place called preston which is about 40 miles north of manchester um, so yeah, I've got really little contact with Manchester anymore. The whole medical school just happens in Preston. Nice, quite nice hospital. Um, there's a bit more green space than Manchester and I can just walk to the hospital and it's quite a nice path. So I was happy with that. So my first week of third year was induction week, which is similar to what I'm going through right now for fourth year. Uh, basically, because uh, it was third year, you basically didn't have anything or any idea about what was going on. So they kind of they give you your scrubs uh, we actually got given ipads so you collect all that um in third year you it was about it to be honest a few lectures kind of just telling you how the year worked uh yeah so that was the induction and then there's the hospital induction which is a pain because it's a bunch of just online learning you've got to do this is like fire safety training um like uniform policy all that good stuff Oh, and how to use like the computer system. So you have to get that signed off. Just get these certificates at the end. Um, so I thought I was done with that. I actually had to do that again this year and it was even longer, but yeah, something to look forward to if you're going to a new hospital, they're probably gonna make you do this induction. Moving forward, yeah. The year is split into, oh, I'm probably gonna get this wrong. Five, five blocks, four or five blocks. I can't remember. And they're each about five, six weeks long. Uh, so for my first one, they, they changed it around for COVID. So my first block was actually like nine weeks long for some reason. But I think normally they're about five, six weeks. Um, and these are general medical specialties for us. I know other medical schools do different, like more specialist wards or placements. Third year is all about getting the general knowledge. So you're in general, a lot of general medical wards. So I was an endocrine for the first block, rotated around to GI. Uh, what else was I on? I was on, I had a surgical block, which is literally just general surgery. So I spent most of my time in urology and colorectal surgery. I had a cardiology block. Um, oh, and then you have a student selective place, which is not like um, an elective, which you have at the end of, which I'm gonna have at the end of fourth year. This is more like, you get to choose, you get a sort of a choice. Uh, oh, no one got their first choice, but you, you got to list like a bunch of, bunch of specialties. I think I got like my fourth choice, so I did another four weeks on colorectal surgery. It's basically just you choose kind of what specialty you want to do and you just kind of do it. It's 
kind of chill. It's basically placement based. So I've just I've just run you through all the placements I did. But what is a placement? A placement is completely different to the other first two years. Basically, you have to go into wards <laughs> to go on the wards. So you get assigned a ward for that block, um, one or two wards, maybe usually. And I'm quite lucky. So I was with a group of four people. So usually at least two of us in at once. So you're not on your own. Um, and you essentially have the iPads with this app on where you've got to get different sign offs done. These are like cannulation, taking bloods, uh, like urine dipstick, uh, all these different procedures they want you to get done and signed off by someone. Also other forms for like what they call patient assessments. That's when you take history, do an examination, uh, you get a sign off for that. Um, you also get them for just doing uh, histories and just doing examinations, but then you, there's more other ones you've got to do where you've got to present to someone. But that's not everything you've got to do on the ward. You just kind of hang around with the team, medical team. You go around the ward rounds. Um, that's when you're on the ward, you, you usually go on the ward round and then maybe spend the afternoon going around bays, taking histories. So that's, that's basically the gist of what you do on the ward. You sort of just follow an F1 or kind of do what they do. Um, that's not the only hospital experience that's timetabled. You usually have clinics, theatres uh, that you can go to. So clinics are quite good because you get to see Patients usually come in, or some some of them are on the phone. Um, so yeah, clinics basically you with a specialised doctor, so maybe like to be a cardiologist, and they have a list of patients. They go through the clinic. Uh, you maybe get the you get to see different things. It's quite interesting, I think I would suppose. But it was a bit a bit affected by COVID because a lot of them were just phone calls, uh, but they were quite good. So they usually put them on speakerphone if they're quite nice. So it's decent. Theatres. Uh, which is what I had in my surgery block, where I basically just see operations. So you get to maybe hang out with the anaesthetist or the surgeon, which is quite quite chill. That's what you want in your sandwiches. Oh, I've got my coffee, guys. You've done you've done your placements. You've got your required amount of sign-offs done. What else is there? So at Christmas we had exams. So that's a progress test, which is basically a, like a 200 question multiple choice exam which is quite difficult there's a lot of general kind of medicine in it. it could be about anything same one you get in fifth year um, but there's like a requirement like a certain grade um, percentage you've got to get to pass and we also had our oscis so uh, for those you don't know that's like the practical exams so we had that christmas then we had that in summer we had a pra mock one i think in christmas i can't i can't remember Exam wise, that was it. There's also um, what they call PPD, which is basically you've got to like write some reflective pieces uh, and then do this like online course that they wanted us to do and just get that uploaded to the website. And that's that's ticked for that. Uh, what else was there in the year? There was, oh right, so right at the end they do something, basically they have like a dissertation in the end, which I absolutely hate. I can't, I can't write, I absolutely hate it. And we've got like, the worst part, I said it last year, so we had one similar last year, but this is like that, but on steroids, it's even worse um, for someone who hates writing. So this was a, like a dissertation, I had to do mine. Mine was endocrine related, and you basically got like six or seven weeks to do the whole project. It was quite a big project. So you had to like collect data and stuff. So I spent ages in the library just running through patient records, trying to collect data and then writing, analyzing and then writing something up about it. Good job I passed. Um, so that's all good but yeah that's something to maybe either look forward to or not look forward to at the end of uh, third year and then that's kind of it like the, the year kind of ends after that um so yeah it's chill i think that was before the selective placement but yeah if you pass all that i think you just move on to fourth year so that's kind of what happened to me so i've just had my summer which was going to be four weeks long but they'd increased it because of covid to six weeks which was good so I'm back in fourth year, I have not intercalated. Um, so that's, for those you don't know, like a sandwich degree in the middle, not done that, I've gone straight into fourth year. Just kind of want to get this degree out of the way, start start becoming a doctor. Um, so yeah, fourth year ahead of me. So if you guys are interested in finding out what it's like in fourth year, you just gotta hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you when I do my encore video next, so yeah. Right, honestly, you want to get you want to get me yeah to 200 subs. I know you do.